Hey guys, Zar here. Hope all is well. Hope you're having a good day. Big down day today. You can see the percentages over here, down 2.7 on the Russell and 1.5 approximately on all three of the three sisters. Looking now, guys, um, it's 1127, as I mentioned, 1128. In two minutes, Europe is closed. Germany's already closed about 30 minutes ago. UK is closing in a couple of minutes, and the rest of Europe is basically closed as well. This regular trading hours, right? And so now we move into the twilight zone and under the control primarily of North America, right? There was a lot of running for the exits in today's session during the European session. Let's see if that continues here now today or if we're going to get some buying up. I'll be looking for a potential long here. Hard to believe, right? Given that this thing has been absolutely insane in terms of uh, selling off here. I'm just watching a couple of things on my other screen. I'll show it to you. The three sisters here. Okay, Rejig that a little bit so it can be seen in some kind of uh, perspective. A little difficult to do on a day like this where you need to really kind of squeeze everything to get a chance to see where stuff is. All right, here we go, guys, rally. Looking for a potential long here, and I'll explain why in a moment. Not yet. No live orders here. Focused three sisters. So I'm watching the time of day, guys. Just mentioned to you how Europe is closing right now. As a matter of fact, it just closed. Well, you know, in eight seconds, it's <laughs> pretty much closed. Europe is closed. It's now North America. It's basically lunchtime almost. It's 11:30, and uh, I'm guessing there'll be a lot of traders not actually going on lunch. And I'm using that as a metaphor, obviously, because it's not so much about functionally going, you know, sitting down in a restaurant and or pulling out your lunch bag and having a peanut butter sandwich. But it's a lunch uh, pause, if you will. That does happen most days. Watching. Here we go. Here we go. Give me one moment, just making sure my own platform is set up and ready to go. Buy, stop, order. Guys, live order now. Live order now. Live order now. Actually gonna bring it down a little bit right here. Live order. Probably gonna get hit very, very soon here. I'm watching all three sisters and ready. Revising the zone here on the 30 minute chart. And I'm in, guys. It's got triggered in now. Long the Dow in the face of a falling knife. Why would you do something like that? Well, look at that daily. You watching this? We've taken out one, two, three, four, five days lows in a very big sweep down during the European session. Europe is now closed, just closed literally two minutes ago this uh, we have now tapped a very key support zone on the daily chart and the daily chart is god right in the world of not to sound sacrilegious or anything but in terms of um, importance daily overall else watching now We've also tapped a 30 minute zone. I'm gonna continue on this here for a moment here, guys. Just watching something else here very closely. Uh, tapped a zone, we had a weak blue bar, which was basically a doji, an indecision candle all of a sudden out of all of this uh, selling off here today. Very significant sell off, by the way. 
big, powerful, strong bars getting smaller and then indecision and then breaking above the high. You see that there? Failing to, to uh, break and close below into that zone. There were a number of zones here taken out, by the way. I've since cleared them and sent those to my group, the revised uh, zone count, if you will. Um, but then we also go over to the three sisters, and what do we see? Basing, foundational basing here at the one and a quarter standard deviation on all three of them, right? And of course, this is the Dow here, the one that I am now long and um, almost regretting it when I see those two candles there. But we'll see how this pans out. We're not done yet. The Dow was sudden behaving the strongest, right? So I'm going long the strongest. What, what do I mean by the strongest? Well, you'll notice that the Dow was actually trading at or above the one and a quarter standard deviations, whereas these two are uh, have already penetrated and are looking like they want to sell down, right? So this one, I hope that makes sense to you on a relative basis. It has the most potential to arbitrage, if that makes, uh, makes sense. I might have said that backwards. I think I might have said strongest instead of weakest, but you get the idea. At least I hope you do. All right, watching here closely, guys. Looking for this momentum to continue. I'm risking 40 points uh, to make 40 points. It's a one to one for now. I'll manage this very closely. Watching. This is my fourth trade of the day. Fourth trade of the day, two wins, one loss so far. The first trade of the day was a loss, nine point loss, and then two 30 point winners after that. And here we are looking for 40 points on the upside. The first trade was a long, and that was the loser, then two uh, shorts on Dow were winners, and now I'm going long again. So really mixing it up here today, um, which can be very tricky, by the way, and difficult psychologically. And the mental game really comes into play when you start doing that type of thing, getting real nimble with the dance. To change your bias or allegiance like that on a, on a dime is, is quite, uh, for many traders, quite difficult. But with practice, it can really, you can get really good at it, much better at it, certainly. Looking to push up here, guys. Targeting 044, 34,000 and 044. Patience now. If I get a chance, I will manage this fairly tightly here. You know what? I'm going to reduce this to 35 points now, guys. I'm just seeing waning momentum on the other players here, the three sisters. I'm going to go for 35 points. I'm going to tighten my stop. In one moment here, we're just thinking about a couple of things. Let me show you the three sisters right here playing, right? Coming up against double, triple, quadruple tops now on the NASDAQ, S&P, and of course the Dow. Tricky trade here, guys. Fourth trade of the day. Stop the break even, guys. Yeah, there's a high chance I'm going to give this back, and that's fine. I'm just going to go for what I can here. I need to be defensive on a um, on a weekday like today. Could very easily it looks like it is actually going to sell all the way back down again and continue that momentum down and so I'm about to take a break even on this still in and out guys out break even I'm just gonna move that marker down that's a break even trade being very protective here and uh, thanks for being here thanks for 
uh, saying hi in the comments and for clicking the like button. Appreciate it. And subscribe, of course. We will talk soon, guys. Take care.